Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Alright, so what's your question, bro? What's the right Bible then? What's the right Bible? The King James Version Bible is the right Bible. Somebody give me the uh the, the Zonovan Bible contact that dictionary. Because I got the English version standard. I got the SUV. The, S the SUV? The English Standard Version. In English Standard Version. Yes. Okay. Give me the um King James uh Zonovan Compact Bible dictionary, somebody. Really? So I'm gonna show you uh why we subscribe to the uh the King James Version Bible. Alright? Because that's the right Bible to answer your question and to make it plain. But we're going to get some history right now on the Bible. All right? So what are we reading? This is the, this is the, the Zodomar Compact Bible Dictionary, page 86, King James Version. When Elizabeth died in 1603, 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups. So when we're reading about the uh, breakdown of the King James Bible, right, it said it took 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. Okay, King James, for an example, King James, first off, he was a black man, right? And he was a ruler. And under his rulership, he authorized the Bible to be rewritten. Y'all understand? To be rewritten in an English translation. Okay, and now we're going to read about it right here. Read. 47. Of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars were divided into six groups. He divided 47 of them into six groups. Read. So any remind y'all, these are scholars. Read. Three for the Old Testament, uh -huh. two for the New, and one for the Apocrypha. So it said he took out of those six groups, three of them he said, y'all deal with the Old Testament writings. Two of them, y'all, two of those groups, y'all deal with the New Testament writings, and one of the groups y'all gonna deal with the Apocrypha. Writings, which is in the book. Which is, a, which is that? The Apocrypha is like a part of the Bible that the uh, Protestants took out. Who were the, who were the... So the Protestants took out the Apocrypha during the time frame because they wanted to, uh, they wanted to basically push like things like John 3.16, right? They wanted to push things like, uh, what is that, Galatians uh, 2, things right. like that, where it says um, there's neither Jew nor Greek, things like that. So, and also John 3.16, God so uh, loved the world, because when you go into the Apocrypha, it bridged the gaps in the history. So they took that out to further the confusion of the land. So that's why we subscribe to the King James Version Bible, okay? Because it's the more authentic version on the, on the earth right now, because you got things like the NIV and all sorts of things. When you actually examine those Bibles, they take scriptures out. They take scriptures out of those Bibles to twist that narrative that they push. Y'all understand? So... Did I answer your question? So what is the question you got? What about you, my brother? Because he just brought out a lot of heavy history. Y'all ain't got none of the questions? Y'all ain't got no good questions right now? What if I tell you Jesus was a woman? Jesus was a woman? You had to prove that, but first give me uh, Revelation 1. Give me, you had to prove that Jesus Christ is a woman, but I'm going to prove to you that he's a man. I'm going to do it right now. Give me that Revelation 1. Verse 13. Read that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So who are we speaking about, brother? It said the, left, the revelation of who? Who are speaking about? Read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. 
Okay, you say you're talking about Jesus being a woman. So the subject topic is Jesus Christ, right? So we read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So we're talking, the root word in revelation means to reveal. The root word in revelation, you take it yourself, reveal. The revealing of Jesus Christ is what we're going over. All right, read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Now we're talking about Jesus Christ and God in the revealing of him. Okay, is that correct so far what we read? All right, now jump to verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, John is giving you what he's seen. He's seen a midst of uh, seven golden candlesticks, and he's saying in the midst of that, I seen what? One like unto the Son of Man. One like unto who? The Son of Man. One like what? The Son of Man. The Son of Man. Read. We're talking about Jesus Christ. It's saying he's a Son of Man. You understand that? So is that a woman or is that a, 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 a male? It sounds like a woman? Yeah. What is it? What, okay, so that sounds like a woman. So a girl or a daughter, what is a daughter? What gender is a daughter? A, a, a daughter is a girl. So what gender is a son? Okay, and a boy grows up to be what? Read it again, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the son of man. Is that a man or is that a male or a female? Jesus, God is a man. Angel. God is a man, yes. Yeah, so when you, 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 you son of man. Huh? You son of man. You talking about Jesus Christ. Well, I know Jesus ain't a girl. We just read. They said son of, did you catch that brother? Hey, my brother. Yeah, I caught that. Did, what did it say? It said it was a son of man. All right. All right, read. Bones with a garment down to the foot. And gird about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs is what? His head, her head, his head, she head, his head. What is it? What is the what is the um what is that stip stipulating? It says his head. Is that a male? Does that sound like a female? Huh? The pronoun, the definition of a man. You see that? You need to so the man around you get it. I want you to get it too. Because Jesus is not a girl, neither is God a woman. Right. You understand? Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What'd you say, bro? Ten different Bibles. Why are you not just telling me this out of one? We just went over. We just went over while we read from the King James Version. Huh? Those different versions of the Bible. We're speaking out of one Bible. We're actually out of one Bible. That's how you're going to catch my whole opinion. My opinion right now telling you, even if I tell you Jesus is a woman, they still will deny him in his face. That's what God told me last year, January 15th. He told me that personally. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. And, so, just, you know, and, all, and the more I tell people this, the more it's proven. To what? What's proven? It's exactly what I just said. How you expect me to believe them words, but you can't even believe mine? Believe these words are biblical. These are words written historical the facts. Stolen, huh? What the Bible stolen from somewhere? The Bible, the Bible, the Bible is still real. It was stolen, but it's still real. Okay, let's stick this in, my brother. What we doing is we coming out of the Holy Bible, giving solutions to our people on who to, on how to get out of the condition that we in. First and foremost, out of this captive state, we teaching our people who they are according to the Bible. Because what's your nationality? Native American. You're a Native American, but before. So you said you're native to the Americas, right? I'm native. Native to the Americas. No, that's just what they call us. Okay, so what they did call God you, call us? They call you African American. Are you? Are you? No, I'm not African American. Well, I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. No, 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 What's the name of the soil you're standing on? What they call it? USA now. USA, the United States of America. Yeah. Okay, so America Vespucci. Is that your people? Who? Who? Right? America Vespucci. That's what the name is. That's the name of this landmass right now. It was named after an uh, Italian navigator by uh, I know. America Vespucci. I know. Right. You know that? Yeah. Is it your people? No. Okay, then. So how, do, how, how are you a native to America? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.
nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word.